Hi Capricorn, welcome to your singles love reading for November. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the life of the single Capricorn. See what's going on for you. So just going to take the energy as it comes. So I'm going to tell you what I see. Now anything could come out here, so I'm going to tell you to only take it how it resonates for you. We could get somebody totally new coming in. We could get somebody returning, someone you're crushing on, someone crushing on you. Maybe someone you're dating, getting to know. So whatever the energy is, we're just going to take it as it comes. So what I'm going to do here is pull one oracle from each deck to get opening energy. Now this could be your energy, maybe someone's energy around you. Again, take it how it resonates for you. Then we get to the tarot. I'll, again, look at your energy and then the energy around you and see what's going on. So welcome, Capricorn. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So this is intended for someone rising in Venus, male or female, general collective. So if this does resonate for you, Capricorn, there will be an extended. I will tell you all about that at the end of this reading. And there are timestamps below. So if you'd like to get right to the reading, um, pin top comment description box. You can jump around. You can do whatever you would like to do. Timestamps are down there. So again, this is for someone rising in Venus, male or female, general collective. Only take it how it resonates for you. Everything in here may not resonate or resonate in a different way. So use your intuition and interpret it how it resonates for you. So let's see what's going on here for Capricorn. I will say the signs as I see them. So they may or may not mean anything, or they could be signs in charts or just the energy. So please do keep that in mind. If this sounds like somebody uh, from the past that you don't want back, then it's probably not your reading. Just to put that out there. All right. For the single Capricorns for November spirit, please. Let's get you a few more oracles here. So everything that you need to know, um, Capricorn, about me in this channel is down below in the description box and the pin top comment. So please do feel free to check all that info out. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. For Capricorn. Capricorn, someone rising in Venus, male or female, general collective reading for the single Capricorns at this time. Okay, that one already. All right. So let's see what your oracles are. So we have intelligence, 45, education, knowledge, perception, and flexibility. And nine is, a, to me, a very single energy. So we definitely are talking about a single energy here. And nine is about coming to a conclusion. It's about coming to a completion, something coming full circle. Because then just almost there, because then nine would be, 10 would be the completion. And then one would be like a new beginning in some way. Some of you could be... Um, Maybe finishing up some sort of education or certificates or licenses or um, something like that. Travel. So maybe you've had to travel. Maybe you travel for a living. Maybe you enjoy traveling. Maybe there's somebody that you're connecting with that likes to travel who's very intelligent, wise, smart. All right. And we have here peace. World peace, peace, harmony, joy. Again, traveling, we just hold in the world, and the world to me is always sometimes about distance, traveling. So very peaceful energy here. I may, I'm, I'm kind of getting energy here that maybe somebody's finally completed something where it was either education or degrees or certificates or something here. Maybe you had to travel for this or not, or maybe you're like, okay, now I'm at peace. I've done this. I completed it. I'm all the more wiser for it. Now I can do what I want to do. Maybe I'll go travel or whatever here. Take a little break. Go on vacation. All right. So you could actually meet this person while traveling, or maybe it's someone you have met while traveling. And I mean like traveling on a plane or bus or something like that. Train, maybe for some. All right. Maybe they come from a, you know, it could be someone comes from a different 
uh, culture, ethnicity, um, or something like that. All right, so let's take a look at your energy, Capricorn. All right, no, three, four. Okay. Well, I usually take four, and then I take a couple from the bottom of the deck. So I have the five of pentacles, the five of wands. So definitely fives here. Two fives definitely is about challenge changes, but two fives equal ten, which is the completion, the end. So you get the nine, the ten. And so always a new beginning of some kind. Six of Pentacles, so now we have balance. And the Nine of Cups, so there's that peace, happiness, joy, self-fulfillment. So I feel like here, wherever you are lacking or in competition or conflicted about whatever change or struggle that you've been through, whatever you completed here, and again, you know, maybe it was, you know, having to pay for furthering your education or getting another degree or having to pay for going to get a license for something or something like that or certificates you know maybe it was a little bit of a battle here but now it's like okay I did it now you know I can work towards balancing out my energy you know feeling kind of happy content knight of swords energy here yeah eight of pentacles so and I had felt that working Taking action quickly now. So you may be like, okay, now i got to stop working hard now that I've completed what I needed to complete to further, um, you know, maybe moving up a little bit by furthering your education or degrees or certificates or whatever it is for you, your license here. Um, now I have to take action quickly and get to work here so I can balance out my energy and be more happy and at peace. And then maybe, you know, I'd be making more money. I could travel. I can, you know, do what I want to do. That's how you may meet this person. Or you could have met them while going to school or furthering your education. Although I think most education, like degrees or uh, like little, well, I don't want to say little, but, you know, maybe a certificate or something. A lot of it, I think, is online. But uh, let's see what the energy is around you. So only sign I see here really is Aquarius with that Knight of Swords. So let's see what energy is around Capricorn. What energy is around Capricorn. What energy. Six of Wands. So success, victory, accomplishment. Eight of Swords. But being still stuck. So this is the energy around you. The emperor. You may actually may get an offer that may come into you about being like a manager or a supervisor or something like that. That could be uh, very successful here, but you may be a little trapped in your head like, oh, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know. I don't know. But this person is sincere and they may actually have a thing for you. So you may, you know, it could be a new job or just wherever you're working now, like maybe leveling up and being offered this. But then now somebody develop, somebody's developing feelings here, the Knight of Cups energy, which could be um, Scorpio energy. we got Aries with the Emperor. Could be a boss starting to develop feelings for you. Justice. Libra energy. So this is, you know... What's moral, just, and right? Things going in your favor, truth, clarity, things being balanced. And the Six of Pentacles here is the minor to me of the um, Justice card. I think whatever this offer is for you to be either leveling up in your career that you're kind of scared about, I think you can do it. It's something meant for you with the Justice card here. But I also feel like somebody along the way here may be offering you this job. If it's not the boss offering you this job, to level up that has feelings for you. It's someone relaying that message to you. So it could be someone in HR. It could be somebody, you know, someone here that is giving you the information or giving you, hey, you got the job or whatever. It's actually, I think, the person that is delivering the message is the one that I think has... I feel like this person delivering this message, this good news to you about something for you um, is actually the one that has a thing for you. So it may just be the messenger. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of what I'm getting. So it could be like the boss's assistant, the vice president, 
um, or something like that. Somebody that may work underneath like your like um, administrator or um, high management or whatever. Tower. Aries energy. This is sudden sh shift, shock, or surprise. I feel here. Kind of blows your mind like I'm like being offered this already. I just kind of um, you know, got my degree or whatever here. But I do see peace and contentment in here. So for a sword, so I think you're kind of going to take your time on this and be like, mm, I got to think about it. Nine of Swords is kind of stressing you out. You get more about this Knight of Cups energy. So I got the Hangman, Pisces, and the Ten of Wands. So yeah, thinking, reflecting about this. I also feel like someone's been thinking about you a lot too that's delivering like maybe the communication back and forth you know so if you're not in direct contact with like the owner or the president or you know higher higher up like the highest management it's the person below here who maybe you're having contact with is the one that actually has a thing for you you know and they may be enlightened here and feeling very weighed down by their feelings, like, uh, what do I do here? And you also may feel like, and you really need to think about this. It's kind of stressing you out a little bit. You may th feel like you can't handle it, like it's it's too much responsibility, it's too much burden energy here, but it's right under justice, so I think you can do it. It's just your mind getting in the way. And you are intelligent enough to do this. Yeah, someone finds you very, very attractive here. With the Queen of Wands, this is Aries energy. Someone finds you beautiful, attractive, sexy. Knight of Pentacles. They really want to come in with a stable offer here. Taurus energy here. Very stable, sincere kind of energy. But they're holding back with the Four of Pentacles energy. But someone de definitely does have a lot of love and emotions here. Cancer energy with the king or queen, but this is the queen of cups. Someone who is not afraid to show their emotions or feelings either, but yet they're holding back. And actually wants to come in with this love offer with the page of cups. And look at this, we've got the king of swords. So we got Gemini and the ten of pentacles. So, again... I feel like this is the messenger because the King of Swords is all about communication, clarity, knowing exactly what we want, being very clear-minded, and a little cold, maybe sometimes can see a little cold, seem a little cold and detached, but they're very smart and practical. Could be your energy, but I mean we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. So I think if you do take this opportunity, this will lead you to so much growth, abundance, wealth, prosperity. This is my marriage card also, long term. Uh, energy here but what is this card flipped over what is that the high priestess yeah so there's no communication right now about feelings that is for sure they could be mutual or maybe you don't even know but um high priestess here no communication but having to trust an intuition higher knowing kind of energy here So I feel like, I feel like it's, it, I don't feel like it's your boss or like the owner or something. I feel like someone below them that is doing the legwork for them that actually may be communicating with you, giving you this offer, working out the details that you're stressed about. I'm not sure if you can do it, but I think you can. You just have to believe in yourself because you'll be heading in the right direction. You may have to travel. Um... But whatever that means here for you. But this person definitely is developing feelings for you. <clears throat> and my throat is getting all scratchy and blocked up. But I feel like they're afraid to say something. Wow. So Capricorn, we're going to go into the extended now. And I feel like this is like um, the messenger here. The messenger has a thing for you. Has a cup of love for you. <laughs> okay, Capricorn, we're going to go in the extended now. So if you would like to go in the extended, if this resonated for you, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. It would really help the channel out. And don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified when I po uh, post all my new readings. 
And if you do, thank you. Welcome to the family. So we're going to go with the extended now Capricorn. So in the extended Capricorn, what I'm going to do is pull three new oracles for you on the future energy here. And then uh, we do have a lot of energy here. So if, um, I mean, we have water, we have fire, we have air. I don't see any earth. So if you, oh yeah, we have earth too. So we basically have all the elements. So I feel like no matter who you're dealing with, um, I'm just going to do like a general spread to see, um, you know, if this is going to move forward, if you should look into this, you know, what's the energy of this connection going to be moving forward, uh, see if we get a time frame, see what the future energies are, and I'll use a separate tarot deck for that. And then I have the Divine Energy Oracle here, so I will pull some messages for you from the universe, advice, guidance from your spirit team, angels, see what they need to tell you at this time. Uh, links are below to Vimeo or Patreon, pin top comment, description box, Vimeo is one at a time purchase, Patreon is a monthly membership, but you get access to all my extendeds from all my readings from YouTube. And uh, they do charge on the first of the month, so now is the time to join, because no matter what time of the month you join, they'll charge you then, and then again on the next first of the month. So if you say you join the end of this month, like on the last day of the month, they'll charge you then, and then again on the first of the next month. So beginning of the month, if that's something you're interested in, is the best time to join. So if you go Capricorn, I shall see you in the extended. If not, best of luck to you. Send you many light, love, and blessings, and always, always shine your light.